Hello everybody, my name is Rocky, and I am finally back with that OC introduction. I have been recovering from burnout, and it's kind of been kicking my ass. But I have a video in the works after this one that I'm really excited about, because it's about a topic that I really enjoy talking about. And I have all the footage recorded for my next OC introduction video, so we should be good for a while, and I'm super excited for today's because it's finally time to talk about Amari. Amari is my main man, and he is definitely the audience favorite of my OCs. Now, if you have followed me, you may know him as just Pink. Um, Pink is a nickname of his in canon, but also that just used to be his name a few years back because he used to be a Wunsler OC. And if you know anything about Wunsler OCs, they're usually just named some word. Now, some of the information I am going to talk about in this video, you may have heard snippets of in the Eros introduction video. Now, Amari grew up on a farm in Georgia with his mother, Rosemary, his father, William, and his three siblings. His younger sister is named Charlotte, and his two older siblings are named Felix and Florence. Pink and his mother were very close. Pink's mother was a pinup model, so she's just very, like, vintage all the time, and that very much influenced Pink and his style even as a little kid. So even from a very young age, Pink was allowed to express himself however he wanted, and it made him very happy because it reminded him of his mother. Now, his father did not like this because A, he enjoyed having control over Rosemary, so he did not like how close she was with Pink, and also because he's your stereotypical abusive, controlling, homophobic ass dad. He's a piece of shit. And he didn't like Pink very much. Now, somewhere during this time at school, Pink does meet Cupid, and I did already talk about their friendship when they were younger in Amari's introduction video, so if you, I'm not gonna cover it again. Now, Amari and his family grew up very poor, like, not sure if you're gonna be able to eat every day type poor, and Rosemary and Eros's mother, Grace, were close friends as well, and so Grace would take Amari in sometimes for a few days to spend the night when things were getting tougher at home. Eros and Amari weren't really aware of this, they were kids, they were like, oh hell yeah, sleepovers, let's go but it very much became like a second home to him. In his early teen years, I'd say like middle school, Pink's father does leave the family um, to go work on his business or whatever. He owns big company and he's all like, apparently being a CEO is more important than being a father. Due to this, Rosemary falls into a very extreme um, depression and starts neglecting not only herself and the house but also her children. Amari is now left to do most of the cooking and cleaning around the house and taking care of Charlotte because the two older siblings are out working jobs to support them. And so Rosemary doesn't really leave her room much. She keeps herself locked up and despite everything and all of this neglect that they now go through, which is now starting to simultaneously align with when uh, Amari's social life starts to going to shit. Amari never blames her. He understands that she never meant to hurt them. And like I said, at this time is when Cupid had kind of started bullying Amari, which I did talk about in the Cupid video. While the distancing and bullying started gradually, Pink had not been aware of it. He was not reading the situation correctly. And so to him, it started all at once once he became aware of the fact that he was being bullied. Because him and Eros had been like brothers, why would he suspect this betrayal, you know? And due to this betrayal from Eros, he also loses that safe space at Grace's house, so it does very much feel like Amari's entire world is falling apart. Due to this bullying and wanting to avoid the cafeteria, and also in addition to money and things being tight at home, he starts skipping meals, which does eventually develop into a full-on eating disorder in an attempt to grasp for control over anything in his life. I believe it was his junior year of high school, it eventually becomes too much and he does attempt suicide. Side. He does survive, however, unfortunately, it was also his little sister who found him. Due to the guilt, he does agree to be put in some much-needed therapy. Um, I do actually- this is written bit and more in depth on his toy house. I do need to update his toy house, but by the time of you viewing this video, it should be updated if you want to read it a bit more in depth there. His high school experience was talked about there. He gets through his senior year of high school fine, as that is when Cupid started backing off and not really giving a shit anymore, um, but he does kind of develop a bit of like a dissociation issues due to it, and he's kind of just floating through high school. He has fallen off all of his classes that he used to excel in. It is also around this time that his father fucking dies, which isn't in 
like incredibly important so it doesn't really matter but to, i guess to try to deal with the guilt of leaving the family he, or to try to like escape blame for leaving the family he does leave um rosemary in the will so rosemary inherits some money and she is able to leave because living on the farm now just invokes really bad memories for her and it would be better for her to get out into the city so that she's not so isolated because william did isolate her a lot due to how controlling he was the two older siblings who were well into their 20s are now able to go out and live their own lives because they no longer have to worry about rosemary rosemary and charlotte live together in a city and amari keeps the farm it takes a few years but things do gradually get better for amari he now works at a cafe and also works part-time as a farmhand on his neighbor's farm who is an old man and really can't take care of his farm himself amari does gradually recover from his eating disorder and also poverty in general and is able to live a happier life however his struggles are not over which i will not talk about because that is going to be content for the upcoming games I am currently working on a dating sim with these cast characters. There will not be heavy lore drops in it, um, but you will get to be more familiar with the characters and how they act and how they function, which I'm really excited about. But yeah, Amari and even just his relationship with Cupid are not done yet. They still have a while to go. But all in all, Amari's story is about healing and learning to overcome and live with trauma. It is about him learning to meet and love himself for the first time since he was an actual child. But again, do check out his toy house. There will be other little facts and information there that I did not put in here. But I believe that's all I can really reveal right now. But I am super excited to get to talk to about him finally. If you made it this far, do consider checking out my commissions. I'm trying to save up for a microphone so I can make better quality videos for you guys. So check them out on Instagram or email me at my email address. And thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.